Hi, so if you watched my last video, you would see that I just got a new printer and I'm gonna turn it into a sublimation printer. And I just bought all the ink and cartridges for that. So I'm gonna show you how to convert your Epson, or how to, um, well, I'll show you how to convert the Epson to a sublimation printer. But first I'm going to show you how to fill the ink cartridges for um, that process. So if you wanna follow along, I can show you how. So this one is already filled. This is my magenta. Um, so I wanted to show you what, it's look, what it looks like once it's filled. Um, and then here we have an empty one. This is the yellow, and this will be the one I'm filling next. So the first step you wanna do, um, you have the fill tab right here in the middle, and then right here is the um, vent. So the first thing you wanna do is pop open this clear, um, this clear little tab in here. There's a little, like a plasticky here. This is what it looks like on the other one. Um, so pull that out of the fill tab. And once that is out, you can just toss that little plastic rubbery um, tab and then take off the yellow one in front here and just put that aside. And then next you're gonna have your ink. And this is the, I think they call it the printer jack ink. Um, so go ahead and take off the top of this. And the cartridges come with, um, a little syringe with a little needle so you can get really deep into it so it doesn't make such a mess. So go ahead and put that right on the tip of your syringe. Kind of hard to do one handed. There we go. Just make sure it's on tight and then pop off the cover. There we go. And then you can put your cover back on your yellow. And this part is pretty easy. Um, you just place, and it's not messy since it comes with one of these needles. You're gonna tip it upside down. It sounds messier than it is. And, and you're literally going to just pull the syringe so the yellow fills up. And these cartridges are pretty big, so you're gonna wanna fill it all the way up. Oh, I'm making a little bit of a mess. There we go. And the ink, it actually, I got some red on my hand before. It doesn't stain too much. If you wanted to wear gloves, you could. Um, and then the little fill hole is that middle one right there. So the one that had that uh, plastic rubbery. So you're gonna stick the syringe right in there. And here, I'll show you it on this side. There we go. And you're just gonna fill it until it's completely filled. You can see it going into all those little pockets. And I think last time it took like one and a half of these syringes. So go ahead and fill it up again. There we go. And just put it right in there. And like I said, you want to keep going until basically it's about to overfill like that. And put the rest back in here if there's some left. And then you're gonna take um, your covered rubber piece and place it right in the middle part where you pulled the um, little rubber part. So if you, if you remember, you took it out of the vent and you're placing it in the fill. So the vent is going to be open. So that one's done and I'm gonna continue the rest of my other two. Okay, they're all filled up. Um, the black does take quite a bit of ink and if you come over here and look at my bottles, I still have a ton of ink left. So it really does not take a lot. I'll be able to use these ink, this ink for quite a lot of things. So that is how you fill them. And I can show you how to install them and things like that in a different video.